All right, my friends. Today, we are going to make hot dog chili, or meat sauce, whichever you call it. Hot dog, chili meat. Anyways, there was only one in my mind until I moved to Knoxville. And I uh, came down here and I'd order a chili dog and I got what resembled uh, chili you'd eat out of a bowl. It just didn't have any beans on top of it. So uh, there again, I love, love, love chili dogs. So everywhere I go, if they say chili dogs on the menu, I gotta try them. Born and raised on Tony Paco's, of course, the original one. Going there with my grandfather and uh, eating when I was young. So um, being Hungarian, that was right over in the neighborhood. And uh, we were there quite often. So anyways, I grew up on chili dogs, loved them, and uh, like I said, I got down here and they were hard to find. I have found a few that use meat sauce, but uh, like I said, more often than not, they've got what resembles red chili on them and just doesn't have beans in it. So today, what I'm going to do is show you how to make the uh, real chili sauce, meat sauce for chili. Um, there's another use for it. We'll make some chili mac on another show with it, but uh, actually today we're just going to make it up and uh, you can use it for uh, either hot dogs or chili mac. But today we're making it for the uh, Mustang parade or a picnic that's tomorrow and um, we're gonna have some hamburgers and hot dogs and we're gonna have some chili on it. So this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need uh, the crock pot. We're gonna need uh, these ingredients right here and those are uh, three pounds of ground chuck. Now let me tell you the recipe calls for 80-20. I always try to make it better. I've tried to use 90-10, 93-7. I've tried to use them all. You've got to have grease. Grease is the is the chili. So um, what I've done is uh, the best I can do is 85-15. But truly, the recipe calls for 80-20. If you can stand to use that, go ahead. Uh, use 85-15, and we'll just put a little more olive oil in it. But anyways, we're going to need uh, one and a half spoons, uh, teaspoons of ground cumin. We're going to need one teaspoon of ground red pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of white pepper, that's white pepper, it's a little hard to find but it's out there, uh, three diced gar garlic cloves, now that's the three of the pieces of the bulb. I like garlic so we've put more than that in it. Um, we're going to put a whole bulb in ours. Uh, four teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of sugar, and two teaspoons of olive oil. I'm going to get this uh, hamburger fried up. Once I get it fried up then we'll uh, put it in the crock pot. It needs to simmer for three hours so we'll put it in the crock pot. I'll mix in the uh, seasonings or the spices and uh, it's a pretty simple recipe from there. So I'll be back with you when I get that hamburger fried up. Right, folks, there we go. Three pounds of a browned uh, 8515 ground chuck. Uh, you know, like I say, that's about as good good hamburgers you can use. It really takes the grease or the the fat from the meat to make good uh, hot dog chili. But anyways, the only trick to this is once you brown it, and while you're browning it, keep doing this to it because you want this stuff to get as fine as you can get. I don't have a meat grinder. You, when you're done cooking this, you can actually run it through a meat grinder, um, and it works a little better for hot dog sauce because it makes it real, real fine. I do have a food processor, um, but I don't know that I'm ready to try that yet. I think I'll try that when it's only going to be me trying it because I'm afraid I'll turn it to, to liquid, and I don't want to do that. I don't want uh, that kind of hot dog sauce. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get these ingredients added and uh, get this stuff going. I'm going to turn this crock pot on high. Um, this stuff's got to simmer for three hours, but I'm going to turn it on high for probably the first 30 minutes or so just to get that crock pot up to temperature. But uh, anyways, what we've got is one and a half teaspoons of ground uh, cumin. So we'll uh, pour that in. We have got uh, one teaspoon of ground red pepper. So we'll go ahead and pour that in. We've got one teaspoon of paprika. Go ahead and get that put in there. You've got a half teaspoon of white pepper. Sprinkle that on there. You got three uh, cloves of garlic diced. Like I said, I've done a little more than that. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. You got four teaspoons of chili powder. We'll go ahead and get that put in there. And then you're gonna have two teaspoons of sugar and two teaspoons of olive oil. That's one, that's two, that's a little extra for uh, making the hamburger lean. So there you go folks. Um, we'll keep checking on it, but really just now all it is is about mixing all this in, letting it simmer for three hours. 
Um, like I said, I started out on high on the crock pot. This is kind of cheating. Um, you can do it on the stove if you don't have a crock pot, but this way I don't have to keep up on it. I can go out and wash the car while this is cooking, and, and I really like that, uh, that added benefit. So we'll start it out on high, let it sit that way for 30, 45 minutes, and then uh, we'll crank it back down to low, let it simmer for three hours, and voila, we'll have hot dog sauce. We'll get it uh, going, we'll check back in on it, and uh, then we'll, of course, we'll be around at the end to see if it turns out or not. All right, let's see how this is coming along. Mm, mm, mm. Folks, I'll tell you what, I wish there was smell vision because you walk in the house and holy smokes, it smells good. That's starting to look like hot dog sauce. You can see the grease in there that's making the actual uh, liquid, I guess, to this, but um, if you can handle it, 80-20 is definitely the way to go, but uh, we're trying to make it a little healthy around here. Um, I got a comment this morning about my portion sizes. <laughs> hey, when it's time to eat, it's time to eat, you know? I mean, I don't have time to eat six or seven times a day like this. So, um, anyways, stir, chop. That's all you want to be doing right now for the next three hours. Always a good, uh, good thing to remember to uh, note what time you start cooking it so you know when your three hours is up. But I'm figuring this has probably been 30, 45 minutes. So, that's all we do. Do that about every oh, 45 minutes or so. Well, there you go. It's been three hours. It's done. Cook you up some hot dogs. Make you a chili dog. Mm. That is gonna right, be folks, good. I just couldn't send you away without showing you how I make a, make a chili dog. Uh, I start out with a frying pan and uh, put some little non-stick in there. Bring it up. Uh, Bring it up to temperature. I got it set on medium. I got some brats here, some all beef brats. So they'll be real good. It's just a little trick. It makes it real nice. Let me just show you. It's gonna take a minute for this pan to get hot, but let me just show you the process I use. Like I said, I put that nonstick in there. I put it on, on medium. And then uh, as it starts coming up to temperature, I just roll the hot dog back and forth. And uh, as you'll see, when I put this thing together, it gives you uh, it gives you a real nice skin. It's not rolling too well because it's just gotten in that in that pan. But let me get this hot dog cooked up, and I'll show you what it looks like when it gets done. And uh, we'll put a hot dog together the way I do it. All right, here we go. You got the uh, you got the bun here. See how that skin split open? Frying it. That works real nice. And then what I like to do is uh, put a little uh, yellow mustard on it. Then, we're going to put that fresh hot dog sauce we just made on it. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Am I just one of the luckiest people you know? There you go. And then, of course, that's not enough. What else you got to put on it? You know it's going to have to have a little hot sauce in there. Just like that. And then, oh, yeah. And we're not done yet. You know that's not done yet. Oh, look at that, would you? Sprinkle a little cheese on there. Put that on there like that. You think that's done? That's not done. What did I tell you? I like sour cream. Put a little of that on there. Oops, got away from me. All right, you get the point. Put your little dab right there. Put one right there. Look at that. Let me tell you what the let me tell you what what the the candle on the cake is. Huh? Two jalapeno slices. Folks, let me tell you what, you make them at home, ain't nothing better. Like I said, you don't have to be a king to eat like one, and I prove it. Chili dogs over caviar every day. I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a good day.